Hey guys, John here at learningguitarnow.com. In this lesson, I want to show you how to play a ZZ Top inspired, it's a Blue Jean Blues inspired solo. This is a minor slow blues, uh, really slow. It's a fun one to play. Uh, I've always dug this tune a lot, uh, you know, as I grew up listening to ZZ Top. Uh, this is definitely one of the tunes that I always tried to uh, play along with. Uh, when I was learning how to play uh, blues guitar a long time ago. Uh, great minor blues. It allows you to play uh, with a lot of feeling. You don't have to play a lot of fast like notes and licks. Uh, it just gives you the ability to just lay back and play really relaxed style slow blues uh, over a minor chord progression. To get the tone for the lesson, uh, I use my Fender Postmodern Strat along with the Germino Classic 45, which is a JTM 45 clone. We'll go ahead and take a look at the first couple of licks for free. And if you would like to gain access to the interactive tab, the Guitar Pro, the backing track, and the full lesson, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Okay, let's go ahead and start this lesson. Okay, now I'm gonna break this solo down for you into nine separate licks. Uh, this is a 12 bar blues. It's a minor blues, and we're playing in the key of uh, B minor. I'm playing this solo with the neck pickup, and I have the volume set uh, around nine. Okay, so lick one sounds like this. Okay, so for lick number one, what's happening is uh, we're coming in uh, not directly on the beat. Uh, right when the band kicks in, you wait uh, basically for one count. So you go one and then immediately hit uh, this bend here. Uh, I'm counting this as a 12 8 slow blues. You got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, right after the 1, we're going to play this bend. And it's not really directly on the second beat, it's just kind of immediately after uh, the first count. A lot of times with slow blues, there's a lot of bends and notes happening uh, in between the beats. Um, slow blues lends itself to just playing in and around all the beats. It's not a perfect science, it's counting notes. So just keep that in mind. So the first lick, you got one. That's how I think about it uh, when I'm playing this. And when I played it myself after um, writing this solo. So I'm raking also uh, and sh hitting that uh, ninth fret on a G string. That's from our first position, minor pentatonic scale. There's lots of ways you can spice up that first position minor pentatonic scale. One way is doing that rake in the bend. And I'm just striking it once, bending it six times. So I've got one. And so this I'm just releasing and then pulling back up over and over again, only striking once. So you need to strike that first one hard so it's going to sustain. And you should hear the sustain even more until that uh, 10th count, you're going to put your pinky down on the B string. That thing has still got to be sustaining to be the most uh, challenging thing is getting that sustain. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the 10th count, strike that. That is still bent. And then you're going to pull down uh, ninth fret on the G while keeping that 10th fret down on the B string. Hit that, and you can kind of rake that as well. And then pull off to a seventh fret on the G string, and then you can also rake to this ninth fret right here. So there's a lot of nuances going on in lick number one. Uh, that's the most challenging aspect of this thing. You got the rake, the bending, getting the sustain, now getting your pinky while it's still bent, and then releasing down to hear that kind of out of tune sound. Now release to seventh for the G, rake to the nine, some heavy vibrato, ninth for the D string. So uh, that's the most challenging thing is getting all the nuances down, the raking, the bending, the sustain, keeping that note down raking again in that vibrato. You hear Billy Gibbons doing a lot of that stuff. Uh, a lot of Billy Gibbons 
Uh, licks are pretty simple uh, far as note uh, wise and speed wise, but all the nuances can be uh, a little bit more challenging to capture. Okay, so that's it for lick one. Okay, lick two sounds like this. Okay, so for lick number two, uh, what's going on is now I'm moving to this uh, fourth position minor pentatonic, key of B. Quick tip, uh, any position that you're playing, minor pentatonic scale, always know where your roots are. In this case, we're playing key of B, so I have my root here and root here. Second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the uh, G string here. You've gotta know where those roots at all over the fretboard, every position of the minor pentatonic scale. So this lick is what I'm doing is a quick hammer on the, uh, basically the second. You wait uh, one count, just like we did previously, go one. That quick hammer, two to four. Billy, you hear Billy Gibbons doing that a lot. Quick hammer, two to four G string. Hit second fret. Now we're gonna slide back to that second fret. And I like sliding with my third finger. Now, the next phrase, I'm gonna use my first finger. I think it's easier to trill on the A string like this back and forth to the second fret with my first finger. That's how I like doing it. Experiment with other fingers. That's how I like doing it. But it also puts you in position again if you want to play more notes after that. If you put your first finger here, you're ready to play more notes in that fourth position minor pentatonic area. So pretty cool little uh, lick there. Also got some open strings going on. Lends itself very well uh, to the key of B. open string on the D, open string on the A. That's a cool thing about B, uh, you got the open string open, it's just open two on the low E, low A, and then this uh, D. Sounds really cool, I think. Especially uh, just playing the key of B, slow blues, I like using that pattern. Moving on to the next part, of a lick number two. We're moving up to the first position, minor pentatonic scale. And so now I got my third finger here on the ninth fret, and we'll do this phrase. Pretty simple thing here, playing that little note. And we're basically coming in on that on the next bar. Uh, we're still playing over the one chord, the B minor chord, and uh, on the next bar after we've done this, we do this, one, and then basically on the second count, not exactly on the second count, but right after it. So go one. Then we do this little thing. I like to drag these kind of notes. You hear Clapton doing this a lot with cream. Now I'm digging in with the pick. I'm using a Fender Heavy Tortuga here. Gives a pretty, pretty fat sound. The last couple I'm playing a little faster, but it's not like an exact rhythm. I'm just thinking in my mind when I play it, drag those. So it could be different every time. You don't really have to play exactly what I am doing. Uh, you basically want to get the mindset of how I'm playing the notes. And it could be slightly different every time. That's how I like to play the blues stuff. So. Okay, so that's it for like two. Okay, well that does it for this lesson. Uh, like I mentioned previously, if you'd like to gain access to this full lesson, as well as all the podcast lessons on the site and all the courses that teach you improvisational uh, blues and slide guitar, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.